What is going on guys? Welcome back to some more Simple Planes where I'm once again going to be focusing on some of the creations that you guys have sent to me. And first off, I thought why not check if a tank is truly stunted? So let's do this. And I don't actually know if this is supposed to flip at all. It's not even supposed to go up an incline. Look at that. I'm, I'm pressing forwards right now and it is not going anywhere. So here you have the camera for this actual mode, but uh, another little thing is I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. I can't go, I can't go back in any way. Okay, I just need to get the camera on the control. There we go. See, maybe, just maybe that was the completely wrong environment for a tank. I think it's a little bit better out in the desert and look at this thing go. My God, okay. This, this is totally, totally speeding up. We're almost at 100 miles per hour, which, okay, now it's actually dropping a little bit because we're going up. But still, I mean, way more maneuverable here, and we also had a bit more run-up on some flat piece of ground. And again, we're stuck, so I don't really know what's up with that. But we do have some more action groups that I could check out a little bit. So first off, we got the gun out there, and then, obviously, obviously, we have this gun up here as well. I mean, it's, it's really, really huge, but it's not really that big of a blast. Actually, I didn't even see the projectile. And I wonder if that is making any... Nope. And of course, turning the top module is also a part of a tank, because of course it is. And at the same time... Actually, this, this looks kind of fun. Hang on, I'm gonna try to disable that out there. So once I go into the mouse as joystick, then I can pretty much just control this. It's inverse controls, but still, it's pretty hilarious to look at. I've actually gotten a way to not record my mouse cursor on screen, I hope, so... You can't see it, but I'm going around in circles kind of opposite to this in a way, but still not really. It's it's weird to explain. And the last part about this is, of course, the hatches as well. And I believe that the different action groups are actually... Let me just deactivate the other one. Is uh, responsible for... Oh, hey, okay. <laughs> I think it was about to break the cannon. I don't know why. But one little thing is that I cannot make it go backwards. And we're also on an incline here, so I, I have no clue what to do. Maybe I still needed to deactivate something out here or activate something out here. No? How about the other retail? No. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. But still, damn cool creation. Okay, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 guys, no. What What the hell? I mean, I asked someone in, in the latest episode of Simple Planes to build a giant blue whale that could fly. And here it is. This is what it has led us to. This, this... What the hell? Why? <laughs> right, so let's see if it's able to take off. Oh, it's scraping. <laughs> Are we flying? Are we seriously flying a giant freaking blue whale right now? Okay, that's that's insane. So landing gear in and let's go. Oh, this is so glorious. I just I'm I don't even know what to say at this point. I don't even know. This is this is a blue whale. A flying blue whale. All right, so we have reached the limit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Why are we why are we flying at 8700 miles per hour? Where the hell am I? Okay. Yeah, we are lost in empty space with clouds above us. This this is this is not good. How is the altitude still gaining? Okay, so it doesn't say anything about this in the description of the vehicle, but but you pull this thing down here once you're starting to go a little bit and then whoa, crap, hang on, hang on. Then you can sort of pull up the blue whale and we are now flying. We're now flying. Hang on, hang on. I, 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 I have fucked this up tremendously, haven't I? Let's get to the strict height, and there it is. So let's go. I'm just trying at a thousand feet at the moment. Um, he's he's kind of doing a bit of a slow job at it, but then again, it's a freaking blue whale. I mean, who can blame him? I think that this is new background music. And by the way, we have now completed the loop. That is that is insane. So I started at one thousand feet, and then I was at uh, what is it three and a half once I actually got to end the loop. So that's pretty interesting. But this is the new addition to the true stuntiness test. This is flying upside down. And it has to be in a very, very stable manner where it can actually almost kind of auto-gain its own altitude. What is happening? Why did that happen? All we need now is the roll because I'm quite sure that this one can fly upside down. However, there's also another true stuntiness test edition and that is landing. So I got to make sure that I can do that with this guy. And to be honest, I think it's going to be hard if he starts to spaz out and fly 8,000 miles per hour. But either way, I thought that I would never see a rolling flying whale. And here it is. And we're actually below the 1,000. But then again, it's it should still technically be legit if it's below thousand because that just means that it's even more truly stunty or whatever the hell and for this i'm coming in for the landing so turn around upside down and then roll and just uh, bring myself down a lot maybe even kill some of the speed here i think i need that and i never thought that i would actually see a blue whale with landing gear i would see planes but not a, not necessarily a blue whale and i'm actually i'm coming in way too hot am i not 
I don't even know, but I, I want to actually go into a very, very slow descent. There we go. Wait, what's what's happening here? Is it just that floaty? Is it just that floaty that it can't... Okay, what the hell happened there? I, I, I have no clue, but all of a sudden it just started being really floaty. Yeah, so we did not land on the landing strip, but still, I, I am deeming this whale truly stunty because it is. And once again, guys, I'm trying to fly a freaking helicopter. So let, let me actually just try to do this correctly for once because I didn't do that correctly before. First of all, keep it very, very stable in the air. That's a very, very good thing. But at the same time, tilt it a little bit forward. So we are going forwards. I'm not too sure on how these guys work yet, but I do read the full description now and even if I uh, go into Steam's overlay I even have the controls right here so that way I assure that I cannot actually overlook anything but my god this thing is hard to keep stable so I know that this is a helicopter that's built the uh, I mean completely correct way but like any other helicopter I'm having trouble with it because I think it's very very important that you stay incredibly incredibly stable in the air like a complete horizontal split between you and the ocean but uh, I can't. I, I just can't, and I'm trying like crazy. But still, hey, 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 don't, don't scoot out. Okay, thank you very much. Can we at least stay stable in the air? And I read on the page that that was somewhere around 60% throttle. So let's try to go to 60. There it is. Okay, perfect. So you're starting to tilt again, aren't you? All right, I think I got it now. There's a, no, no, no. Hey, hey, let's just, just, just turn around. Okay, and stay there. Stay. Why are you doing that? Why are you going that way? And the creator on the page said that this is most likely not going to land. So you know what? I am going to try to land it. Uh, not on a mountainside. Not on a freaking mountain. Where the hell are you going? You're supposed to go the other way. Go go the other way. It's over there. Can we at least land it? I would love it if I could land it. And not explode. Not explode. Okay. Well, uh, I can't say I didn't try, right? So let's just check out the guns on this one. And first off, there's obviously the little cannon out there. But we also have some more things. And I believe that the VTOLs can actually... Uh, and the trim over here as well. I learned that this one over here to the right is called the trim. <laughs> Either way, this is the trim. And those two can tilt and rotate the weapons in a way. And then, of course, you have the action groups. Which is insane. So let me just do this, I think. Is this wrong? I don't know. I have no clue if I actually activated it. Okay, there we go. Launch the weapon. And please, whoa, what the hell was that? That's another plane. What? There's another plane? Okay, I gotta get over there right now. I gotta get over there right now. I gotta check out what that plane was. Because there was another plane. I don't know if you guys saw it, but there was a plane. And I'm going over there right now. What the hell is that? That is so cool. There's a little extra plane. Is this actually one of the things that I've downloaded before? Because this one seems familiar. If this one is any of you guys, then uh, yeah, let me know. So to summarize this one here, you can say that it's a futuristic space travel technology that goes through dimensions in order to travel up to 200 times the speed of light. So I'm interested. I'm very, very interested. But it's set to start in the air, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just wanted to tell you guys what this one was all about. So it's at 100%. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, okay, what happened? Okay, it crashed. Do this again really, really quickly. Press action group one. And I think it's because we're going into a... Whoa. Okay, well, this is not the speed of light at 200 times. I just want to say that. Okay, so this is crazy. We have landed somewhere in between time and space, and I don't know where we are. But this should be the travel capsule, I think. Not that it actually said that on the page, but this is just what I think it is. And my game didn't crash, so yay. But I love the fact that actually we're, we're gaining altitude, yet we are losing speed. All right, we're actually going down now. I've made it down here again, so that's pretty good. And I think we're about to hit the water any second. I was kind of hoping that we would hit some kind of mystery island or just any island, really. But uh, no, we've hit the bottom of the ocean instead. So next up, why don't we take a look at this here troop transporting vehicle. And this one is a heavy mata. So I gotta go over here and build up some speed. And I believe I read on the page that this could go to somewhere around 175 miles per hour. So if it can do that, I think we can definitely make some jumps. Oh, 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 I got to the edge. I got to the edge. And that's too much. That's too much. Oh, oh, can I save it? Can I please, please, please go forwards. Even more thrust, even more thrust or throttle or whatever the hell. Just go forwards. I did it. And now let's just get a good run up here. 
Um, I'm not gonna go above 100 miles per hour, am I? I well, okay, yeah, a little bit, but uh, definitely not enough to make it jump up here. I think this is just gonna stall halfway. Still, though, it'd actually be pretty interesting, and it doesn't look to me that we're losing that much speed. Are we able to do this? We're able to do this! Not that I can actually control it in air, and I think, uh, yeah, we're also able to greatly explode. So this is a little bit of a different kind of run-up, but I want to do this again with it, because I think we have a better chance of actually landing the jump on the other side. But uh, this one also actually does a really good job of climbing. Or exploding, I don't know. You know what, it seems to still be functional, so let's just go here. <laughs> That's just a little bit less weight to actually worry about. But yeah, see that? When it's climbing, it's actually doing quite a good job. I think that there's something just a little bit crooked of it, but that's just because I, well, wrecked the vehicle before, and I think I'm about to wreck it again. Yes, I am. How about the Gold Prix, though? I think it should be doing a little bit better here. And actually, whenever I turn this thing, I mean, it is very, very, very... Whoa, okay, drifty controls. My god. Right, let's just get back on track here. But if I'm coming around the corner here, then you can see it's actually very, very responsive controls. However, it seems to be scooting out quite a lot. But uh, I can definitely control it around tight corners, which is surprising for such a heavy vehicle. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, once again, I done did it. I fucked it up. Oh yeah, by the way, you can still open the back door here, and this is where the troops would be located in a way, and we still have some inner lights, which is just amazing amount of detail in a way. We also have the front lights over here, and uh, I believe that you can put something... Yeah, you can open this thing up. So this is the uh, view camera on top of the balcony where we're going, and I can still control it from out here, which is just so nice. The cockpit view is amazing. I really love this, and uh, I maybe should actually close the door out there. There we go. If uh, we can check out the suspension, then I think this is the place to do it. Nope. Once again, I exploded it, and this is sort of where it starts to go a little bit crooked, and I don't know why, or fall upside down. We can do that as well. Uh, let's see how this guy here does instead. So this is apparently a little starter buggy from the game Fuel, which uh, I'm not too familiar with. Why are we scooting out of control? <laughs> Coming around the corner here. So I got to get used to the fact that the throttle is now controlled on the VTOL slider out here. But it's still really, really cool. So the more I go up here, the faster we should be going. However, I don't really feel too good about that. Not at least here, because this is, uh, well, a turn. And it's a dangerous turn too. All right, so pretty easy to control so far. Let's actually put up the speed just a little bit more and see if I can make my way through the next turn with full speed and let's come in here this this should be fairly easy as long as I just don't overdo it with the controls no no I overdid it and just by a very slight amount which is exactly how much you should not do it I want to check out the suspension but I think this is the completely wrong area for this thing to be checked suspension with actually it looks to me that uh, yeah I mean the suspension is definitely working but is this the completely wrong environment I think it is okay here we are I'm coming up here now. This is better. This is much, much better. So let me just actually put down the speed just a little bit because we don't want to hit this too hard, do we? No, we do not. Okay, there we go. We're now up on here. And the suspension is being tested. Yay! So let's put the speed up so we can actually go forwards just a little bit. And uh, this is kind of bumpy and chase view, I gotta say. But still, I mean, it, it looks to be surviving. Is it actually surviving? Yes, it did. And uh, it looks to me that now we're just stuck here. Still, it survived. Of course, we gotta do this on the jump zone as well. So I hope that this will work. Please work. Didn't work. Okay, the next jump is up, and this is the big one here, so we gotta take our time here and really build up some speed, which is why I sort of started all the way out there behind me, but I don't want to look at that at the moment. Now I just want to look at this jump here, and I'm just gonna go to orbit view instead, because that's a little bit better. So, jump! And please just tell me you can survive this, because actually right now, I mean, I know the suspension is not, well, the biggest and baddest and all that stuff, but still, we uh, should be able to survive. No. Yeah, I thought we were gonna land because we were completely stable, actually, horizontally in the air. So let's just jump out here! There's another jump! Hey, I didn't even know about this one. Let's try to make this one. Full fucking throttle, please. Okay, I I, I didn't even get the run-up that I actually needed, but you know what? Screw it! Maybe we don't fly that far and we can actually get to land it without exploding. Let's see... Come on, just scrape... No, no, you're just going straight into the wall. <laughs> I needed more run-up. I know this is not the airport, but hey, we can still take off here. So, this one apparently has very, very easy controls and uh, is not using any VTOL sliders, which is awesome. This is just the kind of controls that I need for me, because as you guys know, I'm a dumb fuck sometimes. So, let's just get the landing gear in and let's go. Oh, crap. Okay, okay. I still gotta not crash it. That's the thing. So, let's, let's actually try to not crash it. Can you please try to not crash it for once? <laughs> please. How about we try the 
roll here. We're just about 400 feet up in the air. Can it actually save itself? No, 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 no. Terrible idea at this altitude. Terrible idea. Yeah, this is kind of sad, I gotta say. And not the creation. That's not what's sad. It's the fact that I can't freaking control it, even though it's designed for dummies like me. Okay, I actually think I have it now. So all I gotta do now is just go out to the water so that I can initiate the true stuntiness test. And let's just get out there. I just want to tilt this a little bit more. But I think the key here is not to tilt it too much because otherwise, well, things fuck up. I'm actually thinking about, yeah, there we go, a thousand feet, and we're not above the water, but I still want to check out the true stuntiness test in form of the loop, so now you just gotta correct yourself, please. Jesus Christ, why, 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 okay, I just had it, I just had it, why are you upside down now? I actually sit here kind of feeling bad that, I mean, people are using so much time and effort in these creations, and I just crashed them, and I don't know how the hell I should fly these things. I'm thinking about doing a long stream at one point with all of the creations uh, from different people in Simple Plane, so that would be really awesome. But yeah, maybe I can make it fly then, I don't know. I'm just really sad that I can't right now. And this one here looks actually bigger than it is on the page as well, it looked really, really huge. Huge, and uh, it's just a little mini truck, but hey, that doesn't matter too much. Oh, whoa, 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 ho, ho, calm down there. Well, you, you want to be truly stunty, that's for sure. So can you do the jump? Please tell me you can do the jump. Maybe even a backflip too. That'd be awesome. Can we do that? Maybe I can build up the speed to help you or not. No. But before we jump with this guy, you have two turrets. And the first one is activated on action group one. And the last one is activated on action group two. So pretty interesting. And then, of course, you have the air to ground, which is over here. And I believe that the other thing is yeah okay activating that so that's also a little bit uh, better understanding at least on my part of how these action groups actually work all right i'm trying this one more time and at 16 percent speed or fuel or thrust or whatever does it actually no i was so hoping that it would make it right there i'm gonna try this again right, let's try this at 14 percent speed and this okay okay i mean like i said this thing wants to be truly stunty it even tried to roll all right at 13 percent throttle this is uh well oh okay it's trying to roll already and it did whoa wh what the hell was all those explosions for how about the other jump over here i need to see if i can do this jump over here oh that's too much that's too much speed i just want to keep it at 11 percent speed roughly and then just turn it down this is not gonna work is it no this is not gonna work no to give you guys an idea of how powerful it is that was six percent thrust or throttle or whatever the hell and the wheels are still going goodbye over there <laughs> also you're just killing that guy there hey hey leave him alone what the hell did he ever do to you? Please, please don't, please don't crash on me. Okay, well, I, I saved it the last second, but it's just scooting the way hell out of control now. Yeah, this is not gonna land. If it does land and it doesn't explode, which it didn't, it would be very impressive. Still very impressive, considering the fact that this vehicle can fly within the first two seconds of taking off. All right, so this one here doesn't have any wings, but you can still control it. And we also have the guns out there, which is amazing. But, 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 go up, go up, go up, please. Please go up. I'm not even going to try to actually correct it once I at least know that it is stable in the air and capable of flying. Which it is! It seems to be catching the air now. We're definitely catching the air, but uh, it's still having a little bit of trouble actually going upwards. I think we just need a little bit more speed. And we need it before we hit that freaking mountain over there. So can I go up here now? Please? We're actually gaining altitude but losing speed quite tremendously. Am I just going to have to go out here? I have to go out here. Don't crash it, okay? I've crashed enough today. Please? Can I actually make it over the hill, like right here? Oh, thank God, and we are clear. So yeah, no wings would make a true stuntiness test much, much harder. So I'm interested to see how that is going to go. And actually, yeah, once again, I'm below it, so I just need a little bit more speed. You need to balance this thing with speed and uh, and altitude a lot. At least if you want to do a true stuntiness test, which is sort of what I'm trying to do But at this point. Hey, yeah, this, this, this was also another creation. Hang on, or creation, what the hell am I talking about? I'm all over the place right now. I can feel that myself, but that was... Okay, I'm going to crash into the water. But that was another idea from another uh, viewer of mine, is that you could actually have the plane skim the water in a way five feet above or something, I'm not too sure, but definitely have it skim the water, maybe even all the way down to one or two feet above. I don't know, but hey, if you guys want that as an addition to the true stuntiness test, please let me know. And the other location that was possible to take off from would be USS Tiny! So let's do this, please. Oh god, okay, already. I need to seriously get a grip on this thing. It seems to me that uh, we're pretty much good now, and it is just way, way easier to take off on USS Tiny than it is to actually take off on ground. Why are we slowing down now? At least, at least let me try to do a backflip, if not a loop. 
And then a roll at the same time. Is this just a 360 flip? I think it is. Or a 180 flip or whatever the hell. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. All right. Okay. So now I just need to make this thing fly backwards or upwards or upside down or whatever the hell. But we're still like way, way above. And actually because this thing, whoa, has no wings, it is super hard to control. And I'm really trying my best here. So yeah, interesting little design here. I definitely love the fact that it doesn't have any wings. But okay, once again, I just, I just fucking pulled back too much. Yeah, I did. Straight into the water but sadly guys i'm gonna have to end this episode here and i'm sorry that once again i mean there are so many creations sent to me in this game and i'm actually at this point i'm trying to select the names that i know is not familiar so that everyone can get a piece of their creations included so once again if your creation is not in this and by the way if you're once again just like the last episode of a scrap mechanic is hearing in the uh, microphone then i'm sorry but i'm getting text messages i don't want to look at them but i'm getting them so uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it but just because your creation is not in this video that does not mean that it will not be uh, uh, featured in the future i can't even talk today also i gotta pee so i better end this one here so thank you everyone so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this and i will see you in the next one peace